should just about be that. Another heavy defeat, damaging defeat again for Ireland in consecutive weekends. But really, the main story should be France, who have improved in their performance in Parma massively today. They've scored nine tries. It's a record-winning margin against Ireland in the Six Nations Championship. And they've shown why they really are a force to be reckoned with. England take note, because this French team will feel that they are going to be a major force over the next few weeks until that showdown with England in a few weeks' time. A game dominated by the French almost from the very start of this game, despite playing almost all of the game with just 14 players. A 15-point winning margin. And this is what it means. France go above England and Wales into top spot. England and Wales, of course, playing later this weekend. And a points difference of plus 60, which puts them in a really good position. Grace, Dave, thank you very much. 50-point deficit. It makes for stark reading, Fiona Hayes, the scoreline. What are we saying about the general performance? No tries, Ireland, and uh, nine for France. Yeah, so look, uh, attacking-wise, I think they probably weren't clinical inside the 22, and when they had the ball, because they needed to hold on to it. But defensively, they should be proud of themselves. I thought they stepped up their line speed. Um, they went after France at some times, but just France on the counter-attack. They were absolutely clinical, and we just don't seem to have that rootless streak ourselves at the minute. We're at sixes and sevens at times in attack when we're five metres out from the line. We don't know where to go with the ball, but Ireland can definitely take something from how they defend and every player out there absolutely put their body on the line at times. I suppose, Senny, it's not mutually exclusive to say that Ireland were better than they were in Cardiff last week, but there's also still an enormous gap with the best in this tournament. Yeah, there were certainly some green shoots in this performance from Ireland, certainly some areas that they improved on. Physicality was a bit better defensively. Attack, we strung, we strung some more phases, but certainly, you know, France at full flow, very difficult to stop. Um, but, uh, yeah, it'll be uh, an interesting sort of uh, week or two just in terms of these girls preparing for the next, next, next game. Because I think, Emer, on the basis of round one, we looked at the Irish performance and we looked at even Scotland's performance against England and the Italians are a good side and we looked at the Welsh who seem to have uh, galloped into the distance. We looked at, at, at the state of play in round one as Ireland could be staring at a wooden spoon here. Can we take a bit more from the performance in round two with the likes of Italy and Scotland to come? Look, essentially, it's the exact same position they were in last year. You know, they'd lost the first game against Wales. They lost the second game against France and they still managed to come away with a really good victory against Scotland and Italy. Um, you know, England's always going to be a tough test, yeah. um, but Italy are looking really good. I know the scoreline sometimes doesn't tell the whole story and definitely the England-Italy game didn't tell the story of how well, sorry, England-Scotland of how well Scotland played. Yeah. And similarly, Italy were fantastic against France last week and probably were deserving of more in that game. Um, so look, everyone else is getting better. I think we need to get better quicker um, <laughs> to avoid that wooden spoon there's a week off so hopefully you know in that week mm. they can build like they did build today um, and things got better but they've met a better French team which is always difficult to face against yeah yeah, look, there, there's a bit of an injury crisis as well at the minute. You can see, um, I mean, Elsa Hughes wasn't available today. There's, there, you know, so like Emma Swords has come in. I, I personally hadn't even heard of Emma Swords up to that time. I know she's playing in England. So they are dealing with that. And I think the two weeks off will make them better. And Italy away, I think we'll have a better measure of this team. Performance-wise, definitely better physically, I suppose, from last week. But now they're going to have to look at how they can improve attack because they are going to have much more ball against Italy, I would hope. Anyway. Well, 